There have been rumors for a few weeks now about a Switch 2 or a brand new generation Nintendo console being announced soon. Several relatively big sources have claimed that they have some inside information about a new console that might release next year, like 2024, maybe the middle or the end of the year. The website VGC or Video Games Chronicle claim that there are already development kits of the next Nintendo console out there for different big gaming companies that, of course, you know, create games. Which actually really makes sense because big gaming companies definitely would need to get an understanding of the hardware that they're going to be releasing games on, you know. They need to optimize their games to be fit for the new console, and I can imagine that being a really tedious process, probably takes a long time to master it, and they of course want their games to perform the best that they possibly can, so they're going to want to take some time to develop stuff for a console ahead of its release, to have some games come out near the initial release of the new console so they can you know, maximize their sales, because when a new console comes out, the library of games it's, it's not very massive, so, so I'm sure companies benefit by releasing games close to the release of a brand new console because people are looking for games to play, and if there aren't many games on the new console, the odds of them buying some of the few games that are brand new is pretty high, so I'm sure companies really want to get their development kits early. I feel like Nintendo isn't in a rush either to release another console due to the success of the Switch. I'm pretty sure that they actually had to release the Switch a little bit early because the company was losing money from like the Wii U and everything like that. Times are different now. The Switch is one of the most successful consoles ever made and it's still extremely popular. Like in 2023, six years after the Switch's release, it's still getting so many sales. So. It's not like they're going bankrupt or anything, they have a lot of money right now and they're definitely in the profits with the Switch, so they're probably not in a rush to release a console, but with that being said, it's time for a new console just because things get outdated. The Switch is pretty outdated with its hardware, even though it may not seem like it, like, you know, some of the first party games perform great, but even with that, there are a lot of games that don't perform that well and the graphics could be improved for sure. Also reportedly the next console is also going to be cartridge based and will also be another handheld slash dockable console so another 2-in-1 hybrid console. I think that's great because the Switch is so successful mainly because it's a 2-in-1 console and I'd say it's definitely too soon to get rid of that feature because the Switch still sells like crazy so having that portability and the dockable feature for the next console is really beneficial and people are still going to want that. Like in my opinion, the main selling point of the Switch is that you could use it in handheld mode and put it on the TV. Like that's the coolest feature ever. So I feel like having that feature would also help the sales of the new console. Also because it's reportedly cartridge based, I hope that also means that we're going to get backwards compatibility with Switch games. I feel like having that feature would just really help and boost the sales of the new console because people will definitely be upset if their Switch games don't work on the new console because, because the Switch is so successful, right? People have the Switch, people have a bunch of Switch games, and if the new console isn't going to have that backwards compatibility feature and it's still like a similar console, you know, being a handheld and a dockable console, people are going to be like, well, what the heck, I don't really want to have another extremely similar console that I can't play my old games on. Like think about how the 3DS could play regular DS games or like the Wii U could play Wii games. Like that, it's just such a great feature to have and it doesn't affect the sales of new games coming out or that new console. It's just an additional bonus that customers will get and consumers will love if they have that backwards compatibility feature built into the next console. So let's just really hope. The Switch isn't backwards compatible with everything, but we also have like a bunch of new remakes and stuff and ports. So they kind of made up for it, even though we still have to pay for like games that we've already played in the past, but they, you know, they upscale it and everything. So it works out fine. And especially since the Switch is so different from any other Nintendo console, kind of makes sense why it doesn't have any backwards compatibility, but hopefully the next console will. It's kind of bittersweet though, thinking about the Switch being replaced by a brand new console next year because it's still such a relevant console. People are still buying it. Great games are being announced and still released on the console. And it's just such an awesome device. Like I feel like I just got my Switch, even though I got it back in 2017. I think it was Christmas 2017. Can't exactly remember. And I mean, the lifespan of most consoles is typically about eight-ish years. So it's about time for a replacement, but at the same time, it kind of feels a little sudden or too soon. And of course, there are no official statements from Nintendo about anything related to this. These are all just rumors from companies or different people that have built up good reputations for themselves. So until Nintendo officially says anything about a new console, take this all with a grain of salt. This could all be just a bunch of lies, could be a bunch of fake news, propaganda, 
whatever. Who knows? But it's kind of cool to think about. It's a cool topic, especially since there's definitely got to be a new console probably within the next like three years, I'd say. But who knows when they're going to announce it because typically they'll announce a console and it'll release within, I don't know, six months of it being announced. Like they don't wait a very long time to release a new console when they announce it. Like I'm pretty sure the PS5 was actually a pretty long release from announcement. I think it came out a year after they announced it, which is uncommon with brand new consoles. But also they are apparently going to be using LCD screens on the new console, which is a little disappointing because we have the OLED switch and that looks so great. And it's almost like a little downgrade. But they're doing this to cut down the cost of the console, you know, which is nice. You know, we're not going to have to pay 400 bucks, hopefully. Hopefully the console's no more than 300 And uh, since they're doing the LCD screen to cut down the cost, hopefully that gives us better power, you know, upgraded hardware and stuff like that. So, I mean, I think it would be kind of worth getting rid of an OLED screen to have a more powerful device in the end. Because, you know, OLED screens are great, right? But... I mean, it's not the end of the world using an LCD screen. It's really not that big of a difference, but when you have the OLED screen, it definitely does look pretty nice. But I'm sure that they would eventually release a version of the next console with an OLED screen in the future, just, you know, like how they did with the Switch OLED. It came out a few years after the actual Switch. I don't really know how they would design a brand new handheld hybrid console because they always have some brand new twist or new feature with every single Nintendo console that's always extremely innovative. But this is another handheld docked console, so like how many possible designs could they really do, you know? Like the controllers, like the Joy-Cons are definitely going to still be on the side. I'm sure they're going to still have the Joy-Cons, the removable controllers. Like the main thing that they could really only change would be maybe adding a feature to where the console can fold in half for portability like the DS or 3DS. That would be kind of hard to do though since it is also like a docked console. That would be a little difficult, I feel like, but maybe they could do it. I mean, you know, they're always pretty creative. They could probably make it thinner, maybe make it lighter. I don't really know what they'd do. Maybe make some new styled Joy-Cons. The current Joy-Cons are pretty good, but they kind of cramp your hand after a while. So maybe they could add like a little grip on the back. I don't think that's anything to worry about though. I'm sure they're going to come up with something really awesome. I do kind of hope that the bezels on the screen aren't as thick as the regular Switch. Like the OLED got rid of the bezels, but... Hopefully with the new console, the regular version won't have those, uh... I'd also love a different home screen. I was never really a fan of the Switch's home screen. I feel like it's just kind of boring, kind of lazy. Um, so I'd, I'd like to see a new home screen on the new console. I also hope that we don't run into the same issue that we saw with the Series X and S and the PS5 where they were sold out for like two years. The PS5 and new Xbox consoles are finally back in stock after like three years. They came out late 2020. And I've just recently been seeing them in stock in stores. So hopefully the new Switch console doesn't end up like that. I know that the Switch was pretty much sold out for years and years. But like you could still find them. It was just a little difficult. It was just a little more difficult. But with like Xbox, with the new Xbox and PlayStation consoles, it was like impossible to find one. Like you couldn't even like order one online. You had to get on like some ginormous wait list. It was a hassle. I'm hopefully going to get a PS5 soon though. I really want to play the PS5 exclusive games and stuff like that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys want to see on the new console? And do you guys think these are some legit rumors? Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.